Honorable Chair, State Committee members, elected officials, fellow Democrats, I rise up to place in nomination the name of a great Democrat for the office of Vice Chair of Candidate Recruitment. I nominate Fred Swan. He has served as a committee post holder for 12 years. He served Bibb County as a state committee member for eight years and served four years as the eighth congressional district chair. So Fred is no Johnny come lately to the Democratic Party of Georgia and no stranger to hard work and service to his party and community. Talking and interacting with Fred as he campaigned across North Georgia where I live, I realized that he was representative of the values embodied in a quote from one of America's greatest presidents, and I paraphrase, Fred Swan was not looking at what the party could do for him. He looked around and said, how can I help lift up the Democratic Party? That attitude led him to step up and qualify to run for agriculture commissioner. I asked Fred what made him decide to seek the position of vice chair of candidate recruitment. Fred told me that when he was driving around the state running for ag commissioner, he saw so many places, especially in the rural areas, that had not heard the Democratic message. In over a decade, he began to realize that win or lose, he wanted to do some work to help find candidates in these areas. Fred Swan understands we need to get more Democrats running for office and local races to build a team of future leaders across this state. Fred will talk to you in a few minutes about his bold plan to accomplish this goal. Even as he was traveling around the state working on one task, he was thinking about the future. Fred looked around and said to himself, what else can I do to help the Democratic Party? So I'm asking you to consider Fred Swan's years of service, leadership in the Democratic Party, his teamwork, his willingness to work with state leadership over the years and most of all, his recent service to the party as a statewide candidate for office as a huge part of why he is the most qualified candidate for this position. He learned firsthand what it takes to run for office and can share that experience and inspire others to run for elected office. I watched Fred get better and better as he spoke to people across the state. He was not afraid to stand in the arena, to take the blows and get back up and keep moving forward. He's not a quitter, he's a doer. I know when we elect Fred, he will do the same as Vice Chair of Candidate Recruitment. So please join me to elect my friend, our friend, Fred Swan, for Vice Chair of Candidate Recruitment. Good afternoon, fellow Democrats. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Gretchen Porterman. I live in Lowndes County, which is part of the 8th Congressional District, of which Fred Swan has been the chair for the past four years. My Fred, friend, Fred Swan, is a direct, has direct and recent experience running in a statewide for that agriculture commission position, engaging voters and listening to their concerns. And he understands the challenges of identifying candidates to run in Georgia. I just want to give you a few statistics about how many races we're talking about. 14 congressional districts, 50 state state, state seats, 180 house, state, house districts, 159 counties that have county commissioners, sheriffs, magistrate judges, 535 in, incorporated municipalities, 202 superior judges, and 181 school boards. We have for too long left races unchallenged and neglected. As they say, you gotta be in it to win it. I second the nomination of Fred Swan. Hello, fellow Democrats. Hello. I really never get tired of saying that, I'm gonna tell you. Yes, my name is Fred Swan, and I am running for Vice Chair of Candidate Recruitment, but you guys really do know me. You're not here to hear about the fact that I was 8th Congressional District Chair. You're not here to hear about the fact that I just recently got done running for our uh, nominee as Agriculture Commissioner. You're here because, like me, you are frustrated with the fact that despite we had so many successes in so many areas, we still did not pick up a single seat outside of Metro Atlanta. You are here because you want to see change, I want to see change, and I'm here to recruit candidates, not just in Metro Atlanta, but outside. The reason why you should vote for me is simple. First, I am the only candidate who's been a long time county party and state committee member, so I actually know about the party. 
I'm the only candidate who has a huge variety of different types of contexts all throughout the state, including non-traditional leftists and disaffected Democrats from both sides of the spectrum. I was progressive enough in my previous race to be endorsed by Our Revolution Georgia, but I can still work with the modern term party. I am the absolute big ticket candidate for this big tent candidate for this race. And I am the only candidate in this race who absolutely believes in running Democrats in every race, everywhere, across the state of Georgia. So here's how we're going to do it. We need to be focused on something I call the Gateway Democrat. Let me tell you about the Gateway Democrat. I consider myself one such Democrat. A Gateway Democrat is someone who... You, someone looks at that person, they may have never voted for a Democrat day in their life, but they find one Democrat with whom they can talk to, and that leads them to look at other Democrats. I can tell you right now, in my own race, that that's happened to me. I know a woman in particular who voted straight GOP ticket her entire adult life, looked at my platform, listened to my issue-based message and my passion, and decided she was going to vote for me. That led her to look at other Democrats, and she ended up splitting her ticket among several Democrats. We can find more gateway Democrats all throughout the state who can speak to their communities in the language that they understand and in a way that speaks to their needs. We don't have to worry about whether a race is quote-unquote winnable. You, you don't only uh, win the races that you run. <laughs> we also need to know that we need to have a different mentality. Both of my opponents have had successes in various individual races. That's great. Uh, but that's a piecemeal solution. A rate of, of success here, success there. We need to change the entire culture around voting throughout the state of Georgia and around democratic participation. And that starts by making certain that we have qualified candidates in far-flung rural places that many people, Democrats, feel they've been left and abandoned. And it's high time that we have to support people who are going to stick their neck out in those areas. Honestly, the success of superstar candidates like Leader Abrams depends on gateway Democrats creating grassroots support from the bottom. We need people who are going to be running in more places, talking to more people, and getting more people to vote. If we'd had more people running in more places, we'd probably be talking about Governor Abrams right now. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not over here to focus on the easy seats or the big money seats. I'm here to vote. I'm here to run in tough places, tough races, and challenging places. I want. I don't want to hear anybody tell me about who you like for the presidential primary in 2020. I want to know who you like for school board in 2019. Yeah. I don't want to hear who you like for U.S. Senate in 2020. I want to know who your candidate is for your county commission in 2019. The, this is an election year, folks, and we've got to hit the ground running to make sure we've got building a bench now. We constantly look at the top of the ticket. We've got to change that mentality. We believe, as Democrats, we fight against something called trickle-down economics, but we seem to believe in trickle-down campaigning, where we're going to look at the top of the ticket, not the bottom. Folks, I've got a plan to create regional, off, regional uh, excuse me, recruitment regions all throughout the state, where we are actually going to begin having deputy vice chairs work with their county parties in order to begin recruiting, finding ways to hyper-localize fundraising, and make actual goals in order to achieve the results we want to see. <laughs> Fellow Democrats, let me tell you something. Metro Atlanta believes that democratic values are their values. I'm going to tell you right now, democratic values are rural values. I believe that. The rest of Georgia is going to believe that. If you elect me to be vice chair of candidate recruitment, my name is Fred Swan. I would love your vote. Thank you very much.